crime fighters promoting security consciousness as the cock crow heralded the dawn of a new day in 1987 amidst high expectations on the part of the nigerian populace
has had over the period. Uh, one thing I can say is that I'm not too happy about the very frequent changes we have in the command's leadership here. I think in the uh, one year, five months that I've been here, I must have worked with uh, four or five uh, commissioners of police. Uh, I don't think that is good also for uh, security uh, purposes. Uh, one will say you will have wanted a situation where you can work with somebody for some reasonable period of time. Uh, like I said, the relationship varied between us and uh, uh, the performance of the command varied between these periods depending on who has been in charge. And uh, I think the pres president's leadership uh, is one that uh, I've enjoyed working with. Uh, we can see more professionalism in the handling of matters, more urgency in the handling of matters, and uh, it makes one feel uh, a little bit more confident than one had been before. How supportive are the people of the state of the command in its efforts at checking crime, and what has been the input of the state government in this regard? I've scored them highly. I've scored them. I'll go. I won't bat an eyelid to give them more than 90%. The people are friendly and they are police friendly. They give us information. Most of our achievements have been due to the cooperation of the people of Ondo, the good people of Ondo State. I, I distributed my, my cell phone number and that of my subordinates, the deputy commissioners, then commissioner, the DPOs, and come and see the calls we get. You see, you see any crime being committed, people call you and tell you the place where the crime is being committed and they are very, very good as far as uh, giving information to the police is concerned. The GSM has helped too because everyone knows uh, <laughs> if you stay in a place you call, nobody knows who is calling. You can, you, even though you have the number but you don't have to go to the get who called. But they have been giving us very good information. But there was a time somebody called my line and said, uh, CP, do you know somebody slapped me? <laughs> 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 you know, so they're making use very good use of uh, the GSM lines we distributed. The people are quite cooperative when it comes to crime prevention. So the governor gave us uh, walkie talkies and fixed bases so that we can now communicate with all the divisions in the, co in the command. That is possible. That is the that is the courtesy of the government. Okay. And they also give us fuel. They give us. Uh, vehicles to patrol. The, the government bought 10 vehicles for us. So the, the government has been supportive. I'd say that we've tried in our own little ways to cooperate with the command. We hold our regular Security Council meetings where we hold very frank and open discussions. The leadership of the police is, comes into the office, into the villa, whenever he, he wants. Uh, and uh, we have assisted the command in a number of ways in terms of their needs, uh, which of course I would not want to start counting. It's the command that should say that, not uh, self-praise, is nobody's recommendation. The oil producing states of Niger Delta have been characterized by in all producing lands in uh, Ondo State. Uh, well, God is the, is the ultimate harbinger of uh, peace, but we've tried as much as possible to talk to our people. Uh, we have committee leadership that we have set up. Each of the local governments in the state has what we call a community development committee, which uh, looks after the affairs 
of the people. Uh, we have socioeconomic programs that are hung on these CDCs. They, they run skill acquisition centers, they run entrepreneurship development programs, they run our youth in agriculture programs, we have microcredit programs. So as many of the youths that are willing to work, we, we have ways of engaging them. And uh, of course, they, we try as much as possible to let them know what we're doing, what the government, what government's programs are, uh, which actually gives hope uh, to, to them that in a year's time, in two years' time, this is what will come our way. Therefore, we need to cooperate with government. And I think this has helped uh, a little bit. So because of that, they go into crime to look for money to probably finance the education. Poverty is among the cause of this. And then, of course, you know, the government has not been employing because the government is the major employer of labor in Nigeria. This uh, death in employment, you see, somebody after use service has no job. One way or the other, he must start thinking of uh, going into crime. But I am comfortable with the crime level in the state. Egbo Chuku speaks further about community policing, the effects of the influx of banks into the state, and the challenges so far. There are, there are many challenges, particularly when you are out there and you don't have enough arms or ammunition. Uh, the government recently bought enough some mini vehicles for us. We also expect that IG is addressing that too, arms and ammunition. That's, that's the only challenges that I'm sure is facing most states now. And I'm sure the IG is already addressing it because if you look, for the past uh, four years now, we've been recruiting 40,000 policemen per year. And that has increased the number of policemen that we have. But there's not been adequate supply of arms and ammunition to back up uh, the only challenge is, is that we have, most of the time, we have to move arms from this place to that place to make sure that the other place is well uh, protected. If we, I'm sure the IG, we have written to IG and I'm sure he's looking at giving us some more arms. I'm not the only one concerned because, you know, we compare notes with other commissioners of police. There are some other commissioners of police who are requesting for more arms. And I'm sure the IG is uh, addressing it at the moment. With that, I think uh, we are comfortable in the state because uh, the people are very, very eager to give you information to lead you to any crime. Yes, the, we are lucky in the state. The bank, the banks in Akure, for instance, are located on that main road, Oba Deshida, up to Yemeko, just a stretch of road. So, and they cluster around very close here. So, the policing is very, very easy. We have a police checkpoint at the end of all the banks. We have Oceanic Bank, Standard Trust Bank, uh, Guaranteed Trust Bank, First Bank, all of them on the stretch. So it's very easy to police. And we've not, been able, uh, we've not recorded any bank robber. And it's quite comfortable. The ones that are outside that environment are also policed. Only one or two banks are outside the, that environment. So it's quite easy to police them because they're, they're, they're in 